Hi, friends, and welcome to music class. I'm your teacher, Mr. C, and I hope you're excited and ready for some active learning, <laughs> okay? Are you ready? Get set, let's go. Now it's time to <laughs> say hello. Are you ready to sing our hello song? I hope you are, here we go. Hello, hello, it's so very nice to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? Now let's clap to it on the beat. Ready? Let's go. Keep a steady beat. Remember, steady beat means stay the same. Okay, it's gonna just stay the same, okay? So we're gonna keep a steady beat and sing the hello song. Here we go. Follow me. Ready? Let's go. Hello, hello, it's so very nice to see you. Hello, hello, how are you today? That was a steady beat. Thanks so much for doing that with me, okay? <laughs> we clapped to the steady beat. All right, now, here is our special thing we're gonna do today. Do you remember what the five voices are? Huh? Okay, so let's think about our inside voice. Hmm, where do you think you would use that inside voice at? <laughs> That's right, either at school, in this classroom with me, Mr. C. Also, something else is a little the same. Where do you think you would use your speaking voice? That's right, either at home with your mom and dad or brothers and sisters or with your grandma and grandpa, your tia. Ha <laughs> ha, see? Now, question, another question. Where do you think you would use your whispering voice? Yeah, that's right, either in the library or when you're around a baby that's sleeping and you don't want to wake up the baby, what you'll do is you'll be quiet. You'll speak in a whisper. <laughs> and sometimes you speak in a whisper when you want to tell somebody a secret. <laughs> Isn't that fun when you can whisper? All right. Now, where do we use our outside voice? That's right, outside, in the playground, sometimes when you're in the street playing with your friends or you're in the backyard playing with your friends or your family members or you're at a birthday party or you're at a little fun place, maybe Chuck E. Cheese's or Celebration Station. When I was growing up, it was Celebration Station. Um, or um, if you're at a theme park or a water park, you can use your outside voice now. The last question, let's see if you can use your noodle. I'll help you get this right, okay? Where do you use your singing voice? That's right, in music class. <laughs> or sometimes when you're listening to music on your earphones or on your laptop and you hear some music, you'll sing to it. Sometimes you'll also learn how to sing in front of people. Have you ever been to like a show or something at a theater? Well, I want to let you know if you have or if you haven't, they sing on stage in front of people. <gasps> Isn't that awesome? So that's what I want to teach you guys how to do when you come in the class. We're going to learn how to come <laughs> up in front of people, stand up in front of people, and sing out in front of people, and not be scared and whisper, or be sad or shy. We're going to be able to stand up tall like this with our head up, and we'll be able to sing out loud or say a poem. Okay, so when you come in the classroom, that's something we're going to work on, okay? But you'll use your singing voice all the time when you come in a music class or when you go to a concert 
Or if you go to a play, sometimes if you like the tunes, you'll listen to it. I know if you listen to Frozen, I know some of you guys will listen to it. Or Moana, or Princess and the Frog, or any of your Disney Channel shows. I know some of you guys sing. So I want to be able to hear you sing. I don't want you to be scared. I want you to be happy and excited and open, okay? So don't be scared. Sing out and sing proud, okay? Here's our next lesson. We're gonna go over steady beat and we're gonna learn something new. It's called rhythm. And remember, the rhythm changes with the words. Here we go. Now, I hope you remember that keeping a steady beat means the same, meaning the beat is not going to change. It's going to stay the same. Guess what? I have a little gift for you guys to show you. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Look, I have a little drum. Okay? Now, I'm gonna keep a steady beat with this drum. Listen. See, that was a steady beat. It did not change. Every time I hit this little thing, it stayed the same, okay? Now, when you sing a song or you hear music, everything has a steady beat. That means it stays the same, okay? Now, whenever you sing a song, that's called, guys, the rhythm. And remember what I said, the beat stays the same, the beat stays the same, but the rhythm changes with the words okay so let's try this with a song that i like it's called twinkle twinkle little star i hope you guys know this song it's pretty easy okay i'll sing it for you first and then you're gonna sing it with me after okay remember i'm gonna sing first you're gonna listen and then you're gonna sing with me. I'm gonna let you sing with me, okay? Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. See, that's a song. It's called Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So we're going to learn about the rhythm with this song, okay? Now, remember what I did last time with our hand. We're going to get the two fingers, give your hand flat, and let's start singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You're gonna sing with me, okay? And let's do this time, we're gonna do a steady beat. That means it's gonna stay the same. And just follow me if you get lost. I'm right here with you, okay? Here we go. We're gonna do a steady beat first. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. See? That was a steady beat. Good job, guys. You did so awesome. I'm so proud of you. Okay, now here's the tricky part. We're going to do this, but guess what we're gonna do? We're only going to tap to the rhythm. And remember, the beat stays the same. The beat stays the same, but 
the rhythm uh-huh. changes with the words. You see how I did that? But the rhythm changes with the words. Every time uh-huh. I said a word, I tapped my hand. The rhythm changes with the <laughs> words. One more time. The rhythm changes with the words. See, every time I said a word, I tapped my hand. So let's try this with the Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song. Remember? Okay, here we go. Put your hands out like this. Give me your two fingers like this. And here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Did you do a good job? <laughs> huh? Did you? I hope you did. <laughs> I love to sing, as you guys know, because I'm the music teacher. But I want to let you guys know that the rhythm oh. changes with the words. Think about it. Every oh. time I sang a word, I tap my hand. So let's try it one more time, okay? With Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here we go. One, two, ready, and go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> Good job. You guys are super de duper de duper because you are so smart and you are so great. Thank you so much for participating. Remember, learning is best when you can activate. <laughs> okay, friends, here's our next exercise. And then we're done for today, okay? I want to know if you can tell the difference between the same and something that's different. What do you think the same is? Well, the same sometimes is something that's the same. It stays the same. Let's give you, I'll give you a little bit example. This is a red boom whacker, okay? This is a red boom whacker. Are these two boom whackers the same? Yes, they are. They're not different from one another. They're the same. One is red, this one's red. These are the same. Okay, here's another quiz. Here's my red boom whacker, and here is my boom green one. Are these two boom whackers the same, or are they different? They're different. One is red, rojo. <laughs> And one is green. I don't know the word. The word. <laughs> I don't know the Spanish word for the green. Uh, but you should, you'll probably know. Some of you guys are knowing, teach me, okay? But this is green and this is red, okay? These are different. Now, remember what we talked about when we said the beat and rhythm? Now, sometimes the beat... <sighs> Remember, it's going to stay the same, the same, but the rhythm will be different, okay? All right, now, now that we know, we're going to practice something. 
we're going to try and do something like a rhythm and see if you can know the difference. If the rhythm is the same or if the rhythm is different, okay? I'm just going to do it with Twinkle Twinkle Little Star because that's the song we know, okay? Here we go. I'm going to do a rhythm. And remember we did fast and slow? So I'm either going to do it fast or I'm going to do it slow. But I want to see if you can tell me the difference in it. Here's the first rhythm. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's the first version. Here's the second version, and you're going to tell me if this is the same or different. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now, was that fast or slow? That was slow. Now, I'm going to ask you. The first time I did twinkle, 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 little star, it was fast. The next time I did it, it was slow. Were those the same or were they different? They were different. Think. Listen, they were two different versions. One I did really fast. The other one I did really slow. That means they're different. Okay, here's another little quiz. Here we go. Listen, I want your ears to listen. Okay, I'm gonna do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, either fast or slow, but I need you to tell me whether they're the same or different. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That's the first version. Here's the second one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. That was it. Now, were those two versions the same or were they different? Think. Both of them were fast, okay? When I sang it, it was fast. Were they the same or were they different? They were the same. You guys are so smart. You did a good job. You know the difference between same and different. So a lot of times when we sing and I tell you keep a steady beat, you have to remember the beat stays the same. But guess what's different? The rhythm. The beat will stay the same on a song, but the rhythm will be different. And sometimes that's hard to do, to sing a different rhythm than the beat, but we're gonna practice that in class, okay? If you get a little stuck on this concept or this idea or this lesson, hey, come back, listen again, and work with me. I'm gonna also have exercises for you guys, okay? But it's about that time. You know what time it is. Aww. Here we go. It's time to say goodbye. Here we go, friends. Here's our goodbye song. But let's try and make a beat with our goodbye song. Here we go. One, two, ready and go. So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye. For now, until we meet again. So long, farewell to you, my friends. Goodbye for now, until we meet again. It's been great to play and sing together. And now it's time to say goodbye. So long, farewell. To you, my friend, goodbye for now until we meet again. I say goodbye for now until we meet again. D.
Did you sing with me? <laughs> and did you make a beat? I hope you did because that's important. <laughs> All right, friends. Thank you so much for coming. And don't forget to go on your activities in Schoology. I'm going to show you. Here we go. Your first exercise will be fur cushion. That's where you're going to pick an animal with your mouse, put them on the turtle shell, whichever animal you choose, and then press play. You see the little frog at the bottom? They're going to play a rhythm for you. It's going to be fun. On to your next exercise, Mi Cuerpo. You're just going to sing along with the song. That's the rhythm. Remember, the rhythm changes with the words. So you're just going to sing along with the rhythm. And now for our final exercise. This exercise is fun. You're not going to be able to sit down or lay down and do this one. You're going to need to be up on your feet and ready to go. This is our rhythm dance exercise. You're going to dance to the rhythm like our friends here. That's our YouTube channel. I hope you have fun. Thanks so much for coming today, you guys. I'm so glad. And see you later. Have a great, great day. Thanks for coming. Bye.